Welcome back to the next part of the show, and I'm here at the exercise number one and the vocabulary part because uh, I forgot to introduce to you that tonight we're gonna learn the unit three. Uh, we kick off another new unit. It is the three third one from cradle to grave. Uh, 3A, we're gonna learn about vocabulary and listening. We're gonna talk about stages of life. So stages of life means yeah, uh, you can see the uh circle of life and what is what they're calling. Um, like you uh, first time, first you were born, then um started to growing up. That a long amount of time, then get old. You get old. Yes, you you have to be old. Uh, then you lie down. And had a great time on hell. Uh, sometimes, oh, awesome heaven. <laughs> uh, anywhere, but don't be uh concentrate. Don't concentrate. Concentrate to those situations because the lesson is about another one. We have uh, some of the words describing this. Stages of life and put that in order uh, that we reach them. So um, first, uh, we're gonna start with from uh, the beginning, then the end. Okay, so um, we're gonna have some vocabulary for it. It is the exercise number one, and I'm gonna describe these new words for you. Okay, um, first one we have the word infancy. What does infancy mean? Okay, um. Infancy means the state, the state of period or early childhood on babyhood. The first period, okay, the first state of period. Thời kỳ đầu tiên, ấu thời, okay, before that. Mm -mm. Second word. Childhood. What does childhood mean? It means the state of being a child. Thời thơ ấu. Mm, I'm gonna describe it quick so we can get to the other exercises. Okay, they're waiting for us. We have a uh, 15 blank. We need to fill it in the exercise number 3. They're waiting. Um, thời thơ ấu. Adult sense. What does it mean? The, it means the period following the onset of puberty, during which a young person develops from a child to an adult. Means youth, the same as youth. So it means tuổi tin thân xuân. Oh, sweet memories. Huh? Find the love at that time. Feel the love. You must have. To love the love, okay? Um, tansun. Adulthood. Adulthood means grown. You're already grown and started to be an adult. Started being an adult, so trưởng thành, okay? Middle age. Middle age means the period between the early adulthood and an and old age. Consider it as the year from years from forty five from about forty five to sixty five. So those are the amount of uh years that considered as middle age. Trung forty five to sixty five. Okay. Mm. Old age. What does it mean? It means later part of normal life. Means older than sixty-five. Tuổi già. Okay. Cao tuổi. So, uh, older than sixty-five, we call old age. Middle age from about uh, forty-five to sixty-five, we call middle age. Trung niên. Okay. So we're gonna uh put that uh, those words in order. Oh, that, that isn't the, oh, 
Oh my god, folks, we have accidentally told you the answer. Th this is the order. <laughs> uh, first, I thought that I'm just gonna wrote, uh, I'm just gonna write the uh, keyword uh, like from the book, but I accidentally typed out the order of the exercise number one. So that is the correct answer. First, we have infancy, first period uh, before born, childhood. Young, very young. You were very young at that time, like two, three years old. Mm -hmm. About that, adult sense, adult sense, tan sung. You can feel the love at that time. There are boys or girls standing dating for you. Love that. Adulthood, adulthood. Mm -mm. You grown already. Um, you're a man or Woman of your family, woman of your family may have babies at that time, so uh, they yeah, may have babies, uh, so they can be grown and started another circle of life for your family. But the latest so consider it as the years uh, from you know, 45 to 65. Old age, mm, more than 65. My grandfather is. Um, more than 80 already and also my grandmom uh, she's more than 82 because uh, she was born very uh, at very old years long time ago uh, they have witnessed the some of the uh, wars at the um, in history in those times, so they must have witnessed it. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring about that topic right here. We're just gonna go with the next part of the show. It's the vocabulary part. Oh, I'm waiting for you right there. Next part of the show it is the exercise number three. We have the words in the box. Uh, we have the words given. So there are some of the words that you have known already. So I'm not gonna. Uh, describe it too clearly so that you we don't waste our time together. So we're gonna just uh, uh describe some of the words that you have not known before, or maybe getting like confused with it. So I'm gonna describe it. Okay, first word we have already be born, be born. Mom took you you out or the. Doctor took you out, so you were born. Okay, this that word you don't need to be described. The syndrome, okay, be born. Okay, it is there. I'm gonna go to the next word. Uh, it is be brought up. What does brought up mean? Um, brought up is to be taken care. Okay, to be taken care. The nuôi nấng, chăm sóc. Be brought up. Mm -mm. Be brought up. Hmm. Okay, next word we have. Um, you can see on your book. Maybe we will use our book. Okay, uh, for a quicker time. Be buried. So this that that word you may say it is buried, but no, it it, it was. Said, uh, buried. Okay, buried. Be buried means the junka. Okay, you know, you dead. Then they uh put you in the coffin, dig down the hole, place you right there. Very beautiful ground of cemetery. Then stay there. Okay, be buried. Um, okay, maybe we'll be right back with the next part of the show, and I'm gonna describe, uh, say what are the meaning of these words, then we will do the exercise number 3 on page number 27. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back soon. <laughs> 